It's one of the biggest names on the high street, making record profits, doing brisk business in the run-up to Christmas. JD Sports sells high-end sportswear brands at premium prices. Last year's turnover, 1.8 billion pounds. Tonight, we reveal the reality behind JD Sports' stunning success. No, it's more An army of hundreds of minimum wage workers pushed to their limit. Continually fearing the sack. Working like machines. The fight's been kicked out of them. They don't think anybody's on their side. I think they're treated like scum. One of Theresa May's first promises as Prime Minister was to improve conditions for working people. She might do well to start right here. On a business park in Rochdale, this is the vast warehouse at the heart of JD Sports operation. If you shopped at JD Sports this Christmas, chances are it passed through here. We've spent five weeks undercover. Our reporter has a job through Assist Recruitment, an employment agency. There are 1,500 people working here, hundreds of agency workers, alongside staff employed directly by JD Sports. The company calls this place a first-rate facility. Workers have called it a prison. They must scan their fingerprints when they arrive. And again when they leave. And each side of closely monitored break times. Our reporter is on 12 hour shifts, six to six. Every worker has a target, everyone's performance is on display. Assist agency workers answer to JD Sports supervisors. Bosses who bark at them to work harder. The work is relentless. So is the music on loop over the tannoy. And you dare not step out of line. JD Sports staff enforce strict discipline by issuing strikes. Three strikes and you could be fired. What do you have to do to get the three strikes? Anything, you can do anything. You can be late, you can take an unauthorised absence. JD Sports tell us they do not operate a strike system. What then is happening here? It seems you can lose your job over almost anything. Buddies, uh, incorrect uniform, anything with a logo on the front of it, anything that's with a designer label on it, even if, even your watch. So like I'm looking at your watch while I'm talking to you. If that was a designer watch, I'd give you a warning. You've got earphones, oh, that's another warning. Wrong attitude, strike. Chocolate, anything that could cause damage may be a strike. Phones, lighters, hoodies, headphones, breach health and safety and could be a strike. All you're allowed are a few essentials in a clear plastic bag. And no branded clothing because you might have stolen it. Trust has broken down. Everyone's a suspected thief, searched repeatedly. <laughs> JD Sport says only one in ten staff are randomly searched. On shift, in the warehouse, security, say this. Everybody gets done, everybody. We 
have to do everybody in a day. JD Sports say their security measures are normal common sense precautions and their disciplinary policy is normal too. They say it's a staged process from informal conversations to written warnings and can be appealed. The regime here seems to make JD supervisors and team leaders all powerful. So powerful, some boast of sacking workers at will. Our reporter is on her feet 11 hours a day. She asks to sit down. This is what she's told. I wonder if you get tired of like to sit on a box and carry on or... No, no sitting down, no. You can't. You get fired. Fired? Especially if you sit sitting down. You sat people in sitting down? Yeah. Uh, because why should you sit down there doing your job when she's sweating on that station doing her job? In comparison to what they're doing, you've got a really easy job. In cases of serious misconduct, JD Sport says, there's a thorough investigation and workers are never sacked on the spot. JD Sports insist they're not like other retailers under scrutiny recently. Who could they have in mind? Sports Direct, JD's main rival, has been engulfed by a scandal over working conditions. Really? No, no, this doesn't happen like this. Sports Direct operating profits have plunged 57%, while JD profits are up 63%. Consider that JD Sports should have been well aware of the Sports Direct scandal, that their brand has soared recently as Sports Direct has faltered. And then consider that conditions here, right at the heart of JD Sports, may have been a lot like Sports Direct all along. I, I'm, I'm disgusted. I think it's draconian. We showed our footage to this man, the MP who led the parliamentary inquiry into Sports Direct. You were outraged by the six strike policy at Sports Direct. This is three strikes at JD Sports. Well, this is twice as bad. It's as twice as bad as what we f found at Sports Direct. It's as simple as that. Should workers just be fired just like that? The well, it's a matter of co coercion and control. It's a matter of power, this. It's a case of know your place, because I can get rid of you like that. At 5.30 p.m. in Rochdale, they file in to work through the night. Who knows how many agency workers, like our reporter, weren't even given a contract. She asked for one. It said she could be let go any time. Zero hours, zero job security. You can turn up for work, they can turn you away. Some, some people are sent yeah, it's just people are sent uh -huh. There's no work. So if you know we're here, they will listen to you. Really? People come from work like yourself, money is good. They come in and they say there's no work, they're back home. The prospect of regular work is dangled before them. The chance of a permanent job with JD Sports, starting at 10p above minimum wage. But they know they're being watched. JD Sports tell us workers aren't punished if they miss targets called key performance indicators, KPIs. Our reporter is told it could earn her a strike and cost her a permanent job. Usually strike. Basically, if you can't hit the KPI, then you're no good for the company because you're not producing what the company requires of you, essentially. That's, that's the issue. Our reporter is on relabeling duties. It's robotic work. Every hour, the same target. If they log more work one hour and less the next, but still meet the target, for this supervisor, that's unacceptable. Find everybody doing that. Just to warn. Okay. Some do in the past. I found people doing it, and that's what happened to them. Because it is actually fraud. These workers, low-paid, exhausted, didn't miss the target. They just spread out the work. For that, they really are being accused of fraud. Say so that that is fraud. The culture here appears to be the relentless pursuit of profit. 
But workers aren't just being pushed to their limit. We've uncovered evidence suggesting some are effectively being paid less than the minimum wage. Just look at these queues to leave the building. After working 12 hours, so bad. you wait and wait. Airport style security. Airport style delays. JD Sports told us it's made changes, that queuing time is paid. This footage is from the last fortnight. It would take up to 15 minutes to get out. An agency manager says categorically, queuing time unpaid. We, we don't get paid for queuing time, do you? Okay, then. Out in the cold, you queue to get in unpaid. But we're going to get late now. We can't get late. JD Sports says there aren't long queues. The agency advises our worker to arrive earlier. And if the queue makes you late, even if this is one minute, like you can see here. JD Sports, who dish out the permanent jobs, may hold it against you. All this here, lateness, 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 it goes against you. So they give up their time for nothing, earning less effectively than the minimum wage. I find that so depressing. Are these workers exploited? I think they're treated like scum. I think what you see is that you know, you're not allowed to sit down. I can produce a strike as a supervisor to you as a worker on any whim that I want. I can get rid of you at a moment's notice. Um, and actually, I don't pay for you to come in early during a shift, for a shift, and I certainly don't pay for you to when you have to go late at the end of a shift. I'm just treating you like cattle. You're a commodity that helps me make more money, and I think that's disgraceful. JD Sports and Assist Recruitment say they believe a large number of our allegations are untrue. They say if they prove to be accurate, they're willing to investigate. Their employees' welfare, they say, is their utmost priority. But in Rochdale, just listen to where this woman would rather work. Mass employment, 21st century style. A politician would say they're just about managing. A worker might tell you they've had just about enough. You've shopped at JD Sports this Christmas. You may have been shocked by our revelations. No, it's more work. Prisoners get more free respect. We revealed the reality of working at Britain's biggest sports retailer. Yesterday, JD Sports said our allegations about its vast Rochdale warehouse were untrue and not an accurate reflection of its culture. But if proved accurate, they'd be willing to investigate. Today, after seeing our footage, JD Sports begins that investigation and the process of retraining its staff. As workers and managers at the warehouse speak out for the first time, and we reveal new exclusive footage of life inside JD Sports. We went undercover as a worker with the Assist Recruitment Agency. It supplies hundreds of workers to the warehouse. They toil alongside JD Sports staff. They answer directly to JD Sports managers, who enforce strict discipline by issuing strikes. Three strikes, and you could be fired. Strike. Strike. Three strikes, three strikes, you get sacked. What are the three strikes? Gum, matches, lighters, mobile phones. There's a long list of things that could get you sacked. Buddies, uh, incorrect uniform, anything with a logo on the front of it. JD Sports said yesterday, we categorically do not have a strike system. 
Well, we've spoken exclusively to a person who says they are a member of the JD Warehouse management team. There definitely is a three strike rule. You can get those three strikes within a matter of minutes. And if you get three strikes within the first hour, then you're gone. You've lost your job. This manager asked to be anonymous. What she tells us is completely different to the public statements issued by JD Sports. I get told I have to issue strikes. If somebody doesn't perform, they get issued a performance strike. Inside the JD warehouse, which supplies all its UK stores, agency workers are bottom of the pile. Zero hours, minimum wage, and JD Sports bosses boast of sacking them on the spot. I wonder if you get tired of letting sit on a box and carry on or No, no sitting down, no. You can't. You get fired. Fired? Especially if you sitting down. Since last night, over 150 current and former workers at the warehouse have contacted us. Many make disturbing allegations. This is an agency worker currently employed in the warehouse. It feels like we're all suspected thieves and I don't like that feeling. The environment feels like a prison when you go in and out from work. In Rochdale, up to 1,500 people work at JD Sports. Today, some have asked why they put up with it. Why not just leave? Now, this is a town of high unemployment, and we understand that the agency assists recruits directly at the job centre. If people don't take the job, they may have their benefits sanctioned. This worker says he was referred by the job centre and felt he'd be sanctioned if he turned it down. If I didn't take the job with JD Warehouse and assist via the job centre, I think I would have lost some claim money due to the fact that it is in their claim and commitment to accept any job offers that we do get. But they might not last long. JD Sports told us workers aren't punished for failing to meet targets called Key Performance Indicators, KPI. These are the words of a manager at the warehouse. I've done it myself. We go around every two hours and we monitor everyone's KPIs, every two hours. And if someone's not performing, they'll be issued with a performance strike. If in the next hour they're still not performing, they'll be issued with another performance strike. They can get those strikes within minutes, following on consecutively from one to another to another. And it's not even wait till the end of the day, they're gone. From that point on, marched off the premises. That's why, as this new footage shows, they work so hard. Our reporter wasn't issued with gloves. Workers are cut, bruised, Put up again. exhausted. Back is aching. This woman was injured lifting boxes. Another worker has a head injury. A supervisor calls for a first aider. At first, there isn't one. What's on the shelf? Can I go? We can get the house told back. How is he to find somebody? Thanks. I don't even know where you are. You don't know the first aider? He's good. He doesn't do it anymore. He's by the left body. So there's not one in each section? It should be, but no one got one. It takes 15 minutes for a first aider to arrive. JD Sports says it has a four-star health and safety accreditation. It's reviewing all its policies, and it takes these allegations very seriously. But tonight, an extraordinary intervention. The Department for Work and Pensions says job centres will not recruit for JD Sports Warehouse until it's satisfied workers are being treated appropriately. It's no longer just shareholders JD Sports has to answer to, but the government.